And it's been a while since I did any kind of long form video, but I'm gonna be doing a video on the CB550 today. I don't know that I ever did any kind of introduction video on this bike, but it is 1976 CB550 F Super Sport. It has the four into one exhaust, as you can see there. And this thing sounds oh, so good. And it actually sounds a little bit different because I put some different carbs and intake manifolds on there. So one of the issues I was having with this bike originally whenever we first got it is that it was surging idle. Um, I mean, really that was the main issue. Uh, had a high idle, a low idle. It was kind of all over the place because of a few reasons. Well, these adjusters right here for syncing the carburetors, they have some play in them. So they were just, the idle was just kind of all over the place and the vacuum on each one of the cylinders was kind of jumping all over the place even after syncing them with the honda factory vacuum sink tool so pulled the carb bowls or the foot bowls off of those checked it out and i noticed there was a lot of pitting and corrosion on the carb bodies where the main jets uh o-rings seat up and like the emulsion tube portion of the carb so there was also fuel leaking past the main jets uh, causing some of those surging idle issues that I was having with it. So unrepairable, uh, honestly. So I don't know, those may be up on eBay for sale here soon. It's just kind of parts, carbs or something like that. So if you need some CB550 carbs, well, and then take manifolds and all that stuff, then those may be up there here soon. But uh, some other things I've done to it is set the valve flash, I put new, I think they're magna or magma coils on this thing with new wires and ngk um, plug caps and all that stuff so uh yeah they were definitely overdue for that they still had the original coils on it and they're just in bad shape plus the resistance was kind of all over the place on them but anyway the most i'd say major upgrade or um change that I've done to the bike would be these Murray's carbs right here. So they were pretty expensive. I believe it's $725 after shipping taxes and all that stuff. Uh, but you can see it's now a two carburetor and two four set up there. And man, it made a huge difference in the low end torque and horsepower that this thing has. Unfortunately, we're having a little bit of an issue at wide open throttle where it's bogging out. So I believe it's a lean condition causing the bog. I'm gonna take the foot bolts off and see what the jet sizes is, jet sizes are for the main jets. And I'll probably up the point size on the main jets. But the issue I'm gonna be dealing with today is these old glass tube style fuses. So uh, there's a spare seven spare 15 on this side and then we have a 7 amp for the tail light uh, 7 amp for the headlight and a 15 amp for the main fuse one day when i was riding this thing the lights were flickering not really coming on and i had that same issue yesterday the lights the gauge lights were flickering and I, it was like cutting in and out uh, as far as running and i pulled over pulled this main fuse out and it just kind of fell apart so that's what I'd done that other time that the lights were flickering and stuff, but I just kind of jiggled on the fuse and it started working again. You can see yesterday when I pulled it out of there, well, it fell completely apart. So that's what I'm gonna be addressing today. I got this ATO style fuse block from O'Reilly's earlier, and I think it's gonna work out perfect because it's got five input outputs here, as you can see, just as the factory fuse block has on it uh, so i'll be able to have a spare 15 and 7.5 amp fuse in this new ato style fuse block here so i'm going to be replacing this fuse block here with this new one and i think it's going to work out really good because the back side of this oem fuse block just kind of popped off of there and i think what i'll end up doing is epoxying this new one onto the back side of that one. That way I can bolt it up in the factory location. I'll probably try to peel this sticker off of here and then place it on the cover for the new fuse block. So that's what I'm gonna be addressing today with the CB550. 
And I'm gonna quit talking about it, just be about it, and try to get this all knocked out and done. Uh, I've already got all my tools, most of my tools set out here. New blade style terminals and all that stuff. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get to it. See if we can get this knocked out and uh, not have to worry about these old glass style fuses, glass tube style fuses, uh, solders, freaking falling apart from all the vibrations and stuff like that. So enough pitter patter, let's get at her. Alrighty then, so I've got everything all done here. Well, not done, most of the way done here. I already hooked the battery up and tested it. The headlight, tail light, obviously the main fuse is working because of those two working, but uh, I disconnected the battery, so worked out pretty nice here. I had some nice kind of flush style Allen head bolts that I replaced the original 10 mil bolts with. Uh, that way that it wouldn't interfere with the female spade terminal right there. But I am going to also put a little bit of heat shrink on the very ends of these female spade connectors here. That way I don't have to worry at all about this potentially shorting out on that grounded bolt right there for that middle uh, head lamp fuse there. But yeah, I'm also going to put a little bit of sheathing on the wiring there. I'll get a smaller size than that there because that's going to be... A little bit too big for uh, just a small amount of wires we have but i'm happy with that so i'll throw that sheathing on there wrap a little bit of black tape around the end of that so it looks nice and somewhat factory but you can see i got the sticker peeled off of the old fuse block stuck it on the cover for this one here and yeah super happy with how everything worked out here but i'm gonna get this all buttoned up get it all back together the battery back up and show you everything is working. Woo. All right, we've got this thing all wrapped up now. I really like how it's kind of got an OEM aesthetic to it. For the most part, I mean, it goes in the same position, mounts up in the same position, all that stuff. Uh, obviously a little bit different since we have sheathing on two different sets of wires here, but yeah, we've got the sheathing there. I went ahead and wrapped some black tape around that. Got the heat shrink on the female spade terminals there. Got that sticker on there. Really happy how it all turned out. So you can tell the main switch or main fuse is working because when I turn the switch there, well, the lights and everything come on. Uh, hit the brakes. Brakes come on, and obviously the headlights were working there. So yeah, really happy with how everything turned out. Also don't have any clearance issues with this side cover here. So everything worked out really well. Super happy with uh, how everything went for the uh, fate, uh, fuse conversion there. But anyway, Going to go ahead and start this thing up, take it on a ride, and enjoy the rest of my day here. I'm also really hungry, so I'm going to eat something first before I do that. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down below. And if you feel like I've earned your subscription today, go ahead and smash on that sub button down there. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.